Good morning everybody, it is currently morning, I, no morning? Good morning everybody, it's currently Monday morning today. I do apologise for not having a video up yesterday, but Raven was ill on Saturday evening and she was ill yesterday as well. She had a temperature, bless her, and she's also getting her second molars in and I think she's caught a cold as well. Um, so yeah, bless her. She's been very ill, we're giving lots of paracetamol, laying with her in her new big girl bed, having cuddles, I just haven't been able to film, so I'm so sorry, and I haven't been able to finish her bedroom until basically today. There are other bits that are going to go into her bedroom over time, but I just want to show you today in this video what we've done already, and I really love it, honestly, I love it so much guys, it's a massive difference. So I'm going to insert some clips here, first I'm going to start with what the bed area looked like, and what it looks like now, and I'm going to tell you everything, sort of like what it cost after that clip, um, and where we got it from basically. So here we go! Okay, so, number one, the bed. So, Raven's bed was from Argus, and Luke's parents bought that for her, brand new, which is really, really lovely of them. Um, and that was in the mattress as well. It's a mid-sleeper, and I don't know how much it was, 200 and something, I think it came all together, um, including the mattress. So that's really, really nice of them. So the duvet uh, was the duvet, and it came with a pillow that we got from Asda that I said about that I said about in one of my previous videos. Sorry, I feel so tired today. Um, and that was 10 to 12 pounds, anti-allergy, because Raven gets allergies every summer. Hello, darling. <laughs> um, so yeah, that was really, really good. And it was 7.5 tog, and it's ideal for children that are three years and up. Raven is nearly three, she's two and a half, um, and it's perfect for her, because little ones at this age can overheat really, really quickly, so, it's ideal to get them like duvets that aren't too thick and this one's ideal for her age because of that reason so we decided to get her that one I think I can't remember what it was called and then the pink duvet cover and pillowcase that has unicorns and rainbows on is from my mum she got that from B&M and she got I think for a fiver it was reduced down from 10 pounds and it's really, really cute it really goes to the colors of the bedroom okay so under the bed as you can see under the bed there are two shelves these two shelves were five pound each from IKEA, and basically we've just we're going to use it for like seasonal books for her and books she's currently enjoying. So currently she has Mr. Men Christmas books that like you would have just seen, and she has two other books that are her favourite at the minute: the Unicorn One and the Snow Globe One. And then she has her old mattress under the bed from her old cot bed. So that's like old. She's had that since she was a baby, <laughs> obviously. So but we've, we thought we'd put that under there with her duvet that she used to have. Um, because it'll be nice sort of like a nice little snug area for her or a book nook so we thought it'd be so lovely and then we've got all of our teddies under there the two pink cushions you saw were three pounds each from Ikea um, so they were really really cheap and they're really nice they feel quite silky and then she's got her Paw Patrol one that my mum got her um, and then she's got a TV at the end of the bed we've had for ages so we just stuck it at the end for her and she loves it so she can either read cuddle her teddies have a nap down there and watch some TV if she really wants to. And so far, guys, she's wanted to stay in here and just chill. I normally she won't want to be in here by herself, but she's really enjoying it at the minute. I mean, considering she's been ill, <laughs> the moments where she's been feeling okay, so like this morning, she's wanted to stay in here, which is really, really sweet. Luke's parents, in time, I will be doing a makeover video, uh, makeover update video. They're gonna be making a big princess side to Raven's bed out of, I'm not sure what it is out of, I can't remember what it's called. But they're gonna make a big princess, sort of like castle-y theme, and they're gonna paint it as well and design it, which will be lovely. So I can't wait to show you that when it's ready. And also, uh, Luke's auntie gave us some like sort of old 
princess bedding um, that she's got for her, well she had for her daughter when she was younger. So what we're gonna do with that is make it as like little curtains around the bottom of Raven's bed so she could be in more of a snug. Um, so it's literally like she could just hide away in there like a little tent. So that's what we're gonna do for that. Obviously I'm gonna move the lights and then put them back up once the side goes on and the curtains underneath. <laughs> so it may take a little while, but it's gonna be so, so lovely. So I've just inserted a clip of the wardrobe area being built. I thought that I did it before, of like just a blank area, but I didn't. So it's just the process of it being built. I've insert a clip here of the uh, vinyl sticker that I used. By the way, please excuse my nails. I've been so busy and Raven's been so ill. I just haven't had a chance to like take care of my nails or anything. And my hair really needs a cut. So, so the vinyl sticker that you just saw was from B&M and that was nine pounds per roll and you got two meters. So it was nine pounds to do her drawers and then nine pounds to do um, the side of her wardrobe where the mirror is on the inside and out. So the drawers that we already had, we've had them literally for years. We had them when we, before we had Raven, they were minor looks. Um, and that just has all Raven's clothes in. And then obviously the hanging rail that you saw, we already had as well in Raven's bedroom. And then the gray thing that's hanging down the side, that was only four pounds from Ikea. And it has Raven's shoes in, um, like shoes that don't currently fit her. We do have a shoe rack in our hallway. So that'll be shoes that currently do fit her out there. Um, the shoes that don't fit her just yet are gonna be in the gray one, are in the gray one. And then at the top, she has her jumpers slash hoodies. At the bottom she has accessories like her slippers, hats and gloves. So that's that. And then we have two boxes underneath that we've had for ages as well. I think we got them from B&M like ages ago. And they have Raven's bedding in one. And in the other is her knickers and socks and tights. And then the side that you saw that I covered in the vinyl sticker, um, the mirror side, we actually got from Ikea because they do off cuts of wood. So we got that from there and that was like eight pound, eight pound fifty. So it's really, really, really good for something that literally I stuck on as well. The vinyl sticker was nine pound as well. So it works out way cheaper putting a wardrobe together than buying one I feel like and you've got so much more space and it's so versatile you do so much with it and with another child we can put we can incorporate their stuff into it as well because it's so big which is so great um, and then also you probably saw the black bit of wood at the top that was three pounds I think so again really really cheap so to make that wardrobe and with the drawers that we already had which is incorporated into the wardrobe you're looking at I'm trying to work out how much it is so, So about under £40, under £40 for all of that. And normally a wardrobe's like £100 for that big or more. So it's really, really, really good. And for one that's wood as well, because you can get fabric cheap ones, but that's not really what we wanted for Raven's bedroom. I wanted to upcycle it and make it look pretty and glittery. So I'm really, really, really happy about what we could do with that. We're also gonna get some LED lights to stick at the top of her wardrobe under the black bit to light up her clothing so she can see what she's got. And I just thought the little mirror on the side as well makes it like a proper little dressing up sort of experience for her which I thought was really really girly and really lovely she's basically a teenager really <laughs> the way that she acts so you know teenager girls love that <laughs> and no Raven loves looking in the mirror too so we thought that'd be like a really really nice girly thing to do for her so the great little like cupboard thing that I just showed you and um, we've had that as well since Raven was born so that's not new um, it just has a nappies and a little bit of that in there we may end up getting rid of it we don't know yet but currently it's been used as extra storage in her room for little bits here and there um, and yeah the stuff that we have on top of it I've literally had since birth as well so that's not really new either So 
these. <clears throat> We, we already had these in my room, as you would know, and the little um, ceiling sheet thing with the world on it, we already had that up as well, we put that when we moved in, and the little hanging bits near her window we already had as well, and the curtains we already had, the canvases we already had, so they aren't new either. Now here is a clip of the bedroom all put together, so you can see it properly without me stopping and starting. I hope you enjoyed today's makeover video guys, this bedroom really excites me, I absolutely love the way it looks in the minute and I can't wait to update you on a new video when we get the other stuff put in, like the side of Raven's bed and the curtains and stuff like that, it's really really exciting, so thank you for so Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed the makeover and it really supports us. Every thumbs up, comment, subscription and view it really helps our channel. So thank you so much guys. And don't forget to subscribe for more videos and for the next makeover update. I'd love to like literally make over our whole house but we haven't got that much money. And this was on the budget but it looks amazing. I must say, I really do love it. Thank you so much for watching again, guys, and we love you all.